And so at shoot around ends, and then one of our assistant coaches comes to TC. He's like, yo, like, he comes to me. He's like, yo, TC, um, I know you're probably wondering, like, you know, when, you know what I'm saying, you'll be able to, you know, get back on the court and actually play. Because at first I was like, yo, like, just let me stay down with the G League team so I can get healthy for real, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then, But if y'all need me, then I can be ready to come up and play. But they brought me to Milwaukee. Um, so he's like, but um, we're going to need you to start on Giannis tonight. <laughs> We're gonna need that. Yeah. So he's like, we're, we're gonna need you to start on Giannis tonight. And so, like, as a competitor, I'm like, hell yeah! Like, for, right. like, I wanted if there was you to ask me what matchup do I want the most, is that one. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm like, absolutely. The only reservation I had was the fact that I could not jump yet. Yeah. <laughs> you know what Which I'm saying? Which is a problem. Which is an issue. That's a problem, right? Yeah. When you're guarding somebody like Giannis, you got to be able to move laterally, like, be quick you on your feet, all like. Of that. Yeah. Do all of that stuff, right? right? After the camp, my players and I ran up to him and started doing the gritty. <laughs> and he got mad. I'll never forget the face <laughs> of this cheerleader for the rest of my life. Have you met the football players? <laughs> They're the worst guys on campus. <laughs> Kids like, yeah, we know blue too. And it's like yelling it out and stuff. You're, 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 you're. Sometimes she'll be in the hallway just pounding push ups, going like, great morning, gentlemen! <laughs> She would have to use the bleep button a lot. (laughs) (laughs) That might be. Alright, welcome everybody back into season. (laughs) Welcome. (laughs) Welcome everybody back to season two of uh of Teed Up. We got episode 24, I believe. Season uh, two, what, yes, sir. What you know about it? <laughs> we got we got a big time, big time guest kicking it off here for us. We got Tyler Cook. We got the legend back in the crib, uh, basketball player, rapper, YouTube vlogger. Uh, what else am I missing? Like real estate uh, agent, real estate agent, no, real estate investor, entrepreneur, investor, entre- yep. boss. Boss, boss. <laughs> boss. You know what I'm saying what it is, what it ain't, with a cold drink, with a TC, <laughs> and I'm in the building like a janitor, baby. What's up? <laughs> yeah, you in here? Yeah, yes, you already know. Yes, sir. So that's the start. We're gonna start with that. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, a good start. Right. Might have to clip that. Okay, well, we gotta. First thing we're gonna do is plug the YouTube. That's, Absolutely. That's the first thing we're gonna do. Absolutely. So why? Why those, did you start that? Yeah. Honestly, bro, when I was telling you outside. When even in the summertime, like you work out two or three times a day, that's like four to six hours max. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now I got like a whole day. For example, if I start at six in the morning, I'm done at noon at the latest. Like, so, okay, what am I doing from noon to nine o'clock when I go to bed? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so I just kind of had to find something to do. And so just kind of walking around with the camera and filming, doing, make me doing the stuff I like to do. It just kind of just kind of happened, so it was dope. And then obviously, I was kind of influenced by the YouTube guys that I already tuned into now too. So, um, you know, that made me want to kind of pick up the camera and start doing it. And it was fun, like just kind of recording stuff and editing it, and you know, trying to figure out you know how the YouTube how the YouTube game works and stuff. So yeah. that's pretty much it. Bro. So, so you do all that yourself? Yeah, like I all do those everything. clips. Which, okay, that's crazy too because that's like. I mean, I've watched your YouTube. It's like real professional. Like, I thought you had like a producer. No, nah, and everything. Nah, I do. I do everything. So all he those, just like, said he got all that time, bro. No, I know, <laughs> but still, though, like, that's still impressive, though. Like honestly, like with all like, because you put like in-game clips in there, like, and then it's like running over each other, like yeah. You know, like so, I'll have somebody like kind of cut my clips for me and stuff. Right. But like, I got the clips, but I put everything together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, I'll have like. Um, obviously like the, like you said, the game clips that I have, like the mm-hmm. film is obviously not me recording that and stuff, but once I get them to send me like the footage and stuff, yeah. um, like I'll put everything together myself. That's, that's dope. That's yeah. dope. And then, okay. So like for, for people who don't, what's, what's like the, give them the whole link, like they're going to want to look up. Uh, real YouTube, TC. just type in the real TC and then you'll see me on there. You can't miss me. You know what I'm saying? So the real please, TC. the real TC, um, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, comment, Reach out to me, DM me, whatever you want to do. Yeah, um, you know, I like when people kind of interact with me on there, too. Yeah. So. so, like, I've seen, like, on your videos, you cover everything, too. Like, you'll yeah. do workouts. You'll do, like, your property, like, your investment properties that you've yeah. been doing. Like, you'll do, like, your trip to Atlanta this past week. Yeah. Do all that. So, you're pretty, you'll do, like, road trips in the league. Like, yeah. log through the day. Yeah. Like, all, like, I don't think a lot of people, honestly, like, I don't think a lot of people realize 
like everything you're doing. So like kind of yeah. talk about like what you cover. I'm an open book, man. I just know like even before I got to the league, um, a lot of people don't have, or there aren't a lot of guys in the league that kind of do that. You know what I'm saying? Right. They give people that actually want to see what happens like in a day to day sense. Uh, like a lot of people don't do that. They don't give them, mm-hmm. you know, what it's really like behind the scenes. Right. Um, so I just want, that's what I wanted to do. I, I just wanted to be an open book. Um, kind of give people insight of what I do on a day to day basis, either you know in the off season or during the, the regular season too. Too so, um, it's just fun. I really just I don't change them that I do. I just do the same stuff I always do, but I just bring a camera around. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. um, like you were saying, I uh, like one of my favorite hobbies. I just go around and like I'll go rent like crazy exotic cars on just driving around for a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or I'll go um, like to like this the dealerships around the crib and they'll just let yeah. me drive a car. So I'll go and like drive a bunch of cars and just record it. Or I'll go, yeah. like you said, I, I do real estate investing. So I'll take people to my properties, um, like my walkthroughs and stuff. I kind of take people through like the, the renovation process. Mm-hmm. Um, then also on the basketball side, like I just, you know, I have people film my workouts or like when I, like you said, when I was traveling to Atlanta this past week, um, just everything I, you know, normally do. I just bring the camera around and kind of just give people, um, you know, my life, you know, and it's dope because I can kind of give them, like, I don't got to give them anything I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Right. I, I can control what I put on, on camera. So, right. um, that's just dope to me. It's fun and it's something, you know, for me to do. A night out at El Rays is a great time because you got the live music in the front, which is usually like some country vibes, you know, a little bit, and then, but you can go to the back and then it's like a nightclub type atmosphere. So like you get you get the best of both worlds from from both sides. And bartenders take care of you. It's a good spot. We we know some bouncers there. Great dudes. Yeah. Shout out Loudon. Um, and the owner is also a, a, a phenomenal guy. So based on the lines, you would think that yeah. the music is unbelievable, which which it is. So I highly suggest that everybody goes to El Rey's. It's packed all the time. Now from our friends at McDonald Optical. If Mr. McDonald is nearly as feisty as he was on the sidelines watching eight through 10 year old Jack and his son Nolan, that means if you go to his eye doctor place, you gotta be in pretty good, you gotta be in good shape. He's gonna take care of you. Yeah, he's gonna take care. If you're having any issues with your optics, you gotta go to McDonald Optical because he's definitely gonna look after you. He's got the solution for whatever your problem might be. And uh, no, great, great people over there, 100%. And take care of you. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. So like when you when you're going around and you're renting cars, or whatever, are you telling the dealers like, I got a YouTube channel, like I'm I'm promoting this, like, give me a deal, like. Nah, no. Nah. I, I mean, because I wasn't doing that. <laughs> you could be like, yo, like, I, help me out. Like, that's actually, it's not a bad idea. You but be like, like but on. the typically the people that I get like. Uh, that I'll rent the cars from are, like, people that I already know. You know That's what I'm fair. saying? So, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's not like I'm going, like, and paying, like, these, like, ridiculous prices to go, yeah. like, like sit, like, sit in the Lamborghini for a couple of days. Like, <laughs> it's just, like, I know these people already. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. uh, you know what I'm saying? I'll call them whenever they got something for me. I can go pick it up, take it for a day or so. You know what I'm saying? Mm, take it back. Um, yeah. yeah, and then just take it back. And it's just, like, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll pay for it. Sometimes I don't have to pay for it. Um, but it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like I was, I was doing that before I started recording. So I, I didn't need to say, yo, I got a YouTube channel. Like to help yeah. me out. There was already, you know what I'm saying? Rocking with me before like I started doing that. So I think Patrick, I think you should start like renting Lamborghinis. Nah, <laughs> bro. It's fun. People don't like, bro, it is fun and they'll oh, let yeah. you do it. I want to do it. They will I don't let you. Know, we don't, do we even have no, a place here to where we can no, rent no, Lamborghini? No, no, sir. No, sir. But there's like, for example, I, mean, I won't say his name, but there's, um, a guy that I, I've known for a few years now at an exotic dealer, you know, in the St. Louis area. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's kind of let me, like, like I've been in Rolls Royces, like Rolls Royce oh, Cullinan's, man. like Lamborghini Urus is like Aston Martin, anything what that, was the that like? they have. What was the Urus like? Absurd. <laughs> Absolutely t- ridiculous. Bro, I remember like sophomore year, like you sent me a picture, like, yeah, I'm about to buy this. Bro, it, <laughs> it was, was like a Lambo Urus. The one that I drove, <laughs> like, it was, uh, I want to say this is in 20... This was last year, just 2021, I think. Okay. Um, all black with like, like all peanut butter interior, like it was, it was, it was like disgusting. Like crazy. It was amazing. Yeah. Um, you gave me a Rolls Royce Cullinan black badge for like two days, which is a five hundred thousand dollar car. Yeah, <laughs> you just got it for two days. Like, like what? Like cuz. <laughs> and I. This is like so I he's really the plug. Like he's really like. 
And that's what I was saying. Like, I yeah. knew these people before. Right. Even before I really got into the league, for real. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. So, like, now, obviously, like, because I've been interested in cars, like, for a long time, yeah. I'm beginning to have, like, the funds to be interested in nice cars like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like, now they're much more willing to, like, okay, here, like, you know what I'm saying? They're showing me love. Not only because I've been knowing them for a while, but because they know, like, when I just when I decide to get a Rolls Royce Cullen in a black badge, they know where I'm gonna go get they it know from. You know, you know what I'm them. saying? Yeah. Um. So it's it's a you know a, a business, but it's like a, a respectful relationship too, though. You know? Yeah. Yeah. What's like your number one car that you want? Like, or okay, give me like your favorite car that you've driven around so far, and then like your number one that's like if you are gonna buy one, like what are you gonna get? Favorite car that I've driven. Uh, oh, that's tough. It's probably you. Yeah. It's. Just all around has got to be the Urus, Urus I think. Yeah. Um, there's cars I've driven that have been, like, more, like, exhilarating, like, more fun. Um, and the Rolls Royce was just, like, you're driving, like, a cloud, bro. Like, it, yeah. it's absurd. But, like, in terms of just, like, overall, like, the best car is probably the Urus. The car that I would get first mm-hmm. is um, the Aston Martin Vantage. Yeah. I Aston. just saw they, they just came out. Well, the 2023s were just released. <laughs> Is that a little soon for you to get the Aston Martin, or is that like, what, like I would you gonna pull the trigger? I would get it soon, like of course. And I, I unfortunately, I'm an adult, so like I have to do adult shit first right. stuff. For, I'm sorry, excuse my language. I gotta you do adult swear. stuff <laughs> first. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. I got, okay, but I gotta do adult stuff first. Yeah, before I go spend like 180 grand. <laughs> smart. <laughs> I right. see that's smart. Um, good. <laughs> but like after I get all that shit out the way, like be- Aston Martin's in the driveway, brother. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Absolutely, for sure. What about you? What's like your first, like, Patrick, your first, like your first car? Like, okay, like not that you're ever going to buy, but like if you were going to buy like a, you know, like a Lambo or something, like what is like your number one go-to? Ferraris are sick. I don't Ferraris know. are beautiful. Yeah. Like uh, Ferrari absolutely would be cool. gorgeous. Like Ferrari. a G-Wagon would be sick. Oh, yeah. Like a matte black G-Wagon. You don't like those? No, nah, bro. A I'll G-Wagon is just a Jeep. Yeah. But it's a Mercedes, though. It's, it's a Jeep, bro. It's a Jeep with a nice screen. <laughs> bro, I saw Araldis Chapman, the closer for the Yankees, was driving around like a matte black, like Mercedes looking Hummer yeah. type. Yeah. With like the big boys. It was like an, it looked like a tank. Like at some point, it was like an armored vehicle. But like, I can't even describe you it. Press a button, the, 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 the turret's gonna pop out. <laughs> no, bro, bro, literally, I'm like, it's shit. like an armored yeah. car, is yeah. what it looked like. Like a, Type like as big as a suburban, but like a Mercedes. I think it was a Mercedes, and then it was matte, yeah, matte black, and it was unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but you can do. It. And that one thing that I've been introduced to since being like an NBA, especially, is just like the creativity that people but are able to cars. show yeah. through their their cars. Right. Like, there's nothing you can't do to any car. Yeah. Like, it's it's whatever. It's absurd. Like who these, has, who has the coolest car like that you play with? Like in the, like who has like the car that you're like oh like that's dope. Uh, well, see, like everybody's got G wagons. Like yeah, I've seen like Bentley's, Lamborghini. Like I've seen everything. Um, one stuck. I think Demar's. Demar has a Bentley. A, like that's like and okay. Just I'm the, gonna take that. Like the I'm spec, that car. like the the color, mm-hmm. like combination that he has on on the it's like it's incredible. Okay, it's incredible. And that's just like. It's like the kind of shit that I like, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I've said, like I said, I, there's Lamborghinis, G wagon. It's like, like four by four. It's, it's everywhere. But like that, yeah. that Bentley. I'm like, okay, yeah, like I need that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. I, and I put the bug in his ear too. I'm like, when you're ready to sell it, like you, you let got my know. phone number. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. So. Like, let me know. Yeah. yeah. All right. I doubt I'm gonna get it though. But <laughs> now, I don't want it. that ticket still a little, still a little too high. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But that's a, that's a three hundred thousand dollar vehicle. Hey. That's probably smart. Hey, uh, yeah. have him give it to you for a discount, bro. I, I told him, I'm like, hey, look, I like, you got it. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I need, I need, so, I need like, like 40, 50 percent off. Come on, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm like, help hey, me out. Do it for the love. You just could just be like, hey, I got, I got 80 grand for you. <laughs> <laughs> take, yeah, it take, it it. Like, take it or leave it. Like, bro, like, bro, I had the Uber here, brother. Like, I need help. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I need help. Come on, bro. No, that's perfect. Um, okay, I want to get into. We gotta get into your rap career. Nah. Right. <laughs> this will be a short segment. We have a very, very short segment. <laughs> you got a rap career like Shaq had a rap career. <laughs> so what's your rap name? Hey, man, people? look. I'm not a rapper. 
Yeah, you are. I'm not a rapper. I'm a basketball player. Super hot TC. I'm I'm an investor. I'm an entrepreneur. Um, janitor. I'm a, I'm a creator. I ain't no janitor. I'm in a I'm in a building like a janitor. Though, yeah. Like, at all times. So no, now, but I was so. Uh, probably about that had been my sophomore year. Yeah, my sophomore year at college. Yeah. My um, freshman year. Yeah. We would just be messing around like. We got shout quote out Macy unquote, too. Quote, you got to shout out Macy. My Macy, the reason I started rapping in college for real, because <laughs> Macy, <laughs> Macy daily. Macy like Macy was the biggest hater I ever had in my life, and he still to this day. Macy is my biggest hater to this day, and he does it. And if you ask Macy, Macy says he's doing me a favor, right? Right? Yeah. But yeah. like, keep like continuing to motivate me, which he did in college, because that's why I kept rapping. I was oh my god, I was garbage, but it was fire though. Right at the same time. <laughs> That was garbage. It was fire. It was fire. It was. Like, how do you? How do you? Uh, it was garbage. But but it was fire. It though. wasn't like it's not getting on iTunes. But but like, if you know, you it's, know. It's you getting know somewhere. It's getting yeah, somewhere. Yeah, the people that rock with me are, are like full volume in the car, like yeah. windows down, bass all the way up. I got some videos on my phone. Like we, keep them. We would put keep the, them. Keep the nah. instrumental out. Nah. And, like, you would just spit. Like <laughs> you would just be rapping. <laughs> It just rap. Keep them. Nah. Uh, nah, but we would just, and we would be quote unquote in the studio, but the studio, the studio was just my laptop. In the in the living room. In the, in the, in on the kitchen, like bar stool. Yep. And then I'm plugging in the Apple headphones. Mm -hmm. I got the earbuds in my head, but like it didn't feel like I was in the studio until I had like the over the ear beats yeah, on. Right. So I put the earbuds in my head because they had the, the microphone on the cord. Yeah. And then I put the beats on top of my of the earbuds so it make it feel like I'm really in the studio. <laughs> Was Macy hating on that too? Oh, for sure. Abs <laughs> yes, absolutely. But I kept doing it just because if Macy didn't hate on me, I probably would have never even like started it. <laughs> so And I was a one hit, like I like one take on every song. I never went back and like redid anything. Yeah. I just like freestyled everything. What was like your favorite song? Like that you did. Nah. <laughs> can we? Even, I, I think I know what it is, but I don't know if we can say it. Like what? what the nah, name nah, of the nah, song? nah, nah, I'm not even. No, nah, that was nah. Uh, uh. That's not uh, your favorite one. No, nah, it ain't. Um, I know which one. <laughs> it was. Oh man, I can't even remember. No, if you and I can't even remember the name of the song, but you know the rapper Duke Deuce. Yes. Duke Deuce has a song that came out in like in the last year or so. Yeah. That's identical to something I recorded. <laughs> and he and copied this, my home. And this is oh. not—it's not a joke. You got a song on everything I love. Are you gonna ask Macy? Ask Cordell. Like I think one of them has sent it to me in our group chat. Yeah. And he's like, TC made this in 2018. And he stole it. He copied, it's, he it's copied like, your flow. Brother, look, he did it much better than me, right? Yeah. But it sounds exactly like the song that I made in college. So, I can't remember the song, but that was the best song I made. And clearly somehow it got leaked and he heard it and he just remixed it. It got it leaked. Out. Who do you yeah, think but, is leaking like your- I don't know, bro. I don't know. Cordell. It's quite I don't know. Quite Whoever, somebody got my, my hard drive or something, bro. <laughs> Somebody got the hard drive and they leaking this information to the mainstream rappers. Clearly, clearly, you were in, you were like making the beats too and everything, right? Yeah. Like you would like uh -huh. you would make everything like yeah. that, that's like where your video career started. Beats was garbage, but I made the beats hot with the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> Did you write the lyrics yourself? Or no, you I didn't write nothing. Like as it came to I'm, your head, as it came to my head. Yeah. Okay. We got. That's why half of my songs was me just like talking shit. Like, yeah, I wasn't even rapping for half the song. I was just talking <laughs> about whatever was on my mind. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then I, something would come in my brain, and I just start freestyling about you just it. Start saying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, like, oh, that that's real rap, though. No, that's real. A lot of people rap. don't understand that's real rap. No, it is. It is. So like now, <laughs> would you say like you're trying to like make it out the league? Like, yo, oh no, like, brother, <laughs> no. Once I started actually making some money, brother, that's like, hey, brother, I'm not a rapper. I'm a basketball game. player. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an investor. <laughs> I'm a child of God. The best, the, the rap career is is done. What rap career? Okay, but this listen, I'm not I'm not going to like name any names, but in the group chat with like me and Macy a couple like last month, probably you were saying you were going to be at the at the uh, the music awards, the BET <laughs> Music Awards <laughs> on stage with I think it was you, Sean Kingston, <laughs> Boosie, <laughs> Boosie, <laughs> Boosie uh, Badass. Who was the last and, one? I remember bro, that. I want to I want to pull up the text because it was so funny. Oh, you were like, nah, <laughs> you go nah, all the greats, <laughs> me, Sean Kingston. Was it like plies? No, nah, it'll go. I, Ray J. I gotta find. I, I'm gonna have to go through the text. I'm gonna and go look at the out. text. But, but like, that well, was when we do a break and yeah. we'll pull it back up. Bro, 
That was hilarious. Soldier Boy. Was it Soldier Boy? Soldier Boy's the GOAT. He got to be in there for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I need him. Yeah, no, for sure. Absolutely. Okay. He's the first to do everything. <laughs> Macy was like, okay, so only like the GOATs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the greatest. You, you gave the list. Yes. Macy. Yes. Macy is a hater, though. Like, he is a hater. That's what he does. He thrives off of that. Just hate. We were texting, uh, couldn't have been more than like two weeks ago. And Macy was talking about, yo, like, I got to stop hating so much. Like, like <laughs> he's like, it's messing with my sleep. Like, <laughs> <laughs> And like, if you know Macy, you know Macy dead ass serious. No, he's so serious. He's so serious. Like, he's, it's not a joke. So Macy, Macy is like, is he Macy been a that. bigger hater than Cordell? Like, oh, by far. Okay. Cordell just gasses whatever, like, the energy is, right? Yeah. So, like, if, yes. if everybody in the room is hating on one dude, Cordell going to hate on him. Right. That's just because, like, Cordell just amplifies whatever no, is he's already there. He's an instigator. That's his gig. Exactly. That's, that's an his gig. Yeah. And he's great at it. No, he's so good at that. Yeah. It's his best trait. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. It is for sure. Right. It's, it's 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 sick, honestly. And now imagine living with those two. Oh, perfect. Like, but like I would like I feel like you would be like in the room. Like I just picture this. I don't know if this is true, but you'll be like in your room, like playing two K, whatever. And then like it could be like late at night, like two a.m. Makes you just like knock on your door, and, like just to like wake. Oh, he you, wouldn't knock. Wake you up. He would. He would knock. just open the door and just like makes you kick the door down and just walk and in. then makes you. And this is not, I'm not lying right now. I will be in my room, like, sitting on my bed playing 2K, right? Okay. Make sure you open the door, sit right next to me, grab my controller, and start playing. <laughs> start playing. Out, of my, out of my hand. <laughs> grab the controller out of my hand and start playing. And not I say anything. Not say a word. No. I have videos of Maisie coming into my room, going into my closet, and he just start trying on my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so Like, shoes and everything. Maisie's just trying to torment TC. Maisie doesn't want peace. <laughs> no. Like, no, he wants action. It's got to be a, like a little bit of chaos at all times, man. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll get back on that. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll get back on For that sure. after this. If you're recovering from a long weekend or a late night drinking, come to the Recenter to treat your hangover. Their Revive IV Drip is specifically made to help minimize the symptoms of hangovers, such as headaches, dehydration, fatigue, brain fog, and nausea. Call 319-694-6086. Schedule your IV drip today. Student discounts are available. And now a message from our friends at Vibrant who want you to take a semester off. Okay, I know they're bankers, but they know about NCA eligibility, right? Not a semester off from school, a semester off from car payments. Right now, if you take out not a loan with Vibrant or move your current loan there, you won't owe any interest or need to make a single payment for 120 days. Well, you know, used Tesla is only about 50,000 bucks. Just to be clear, you do have to make payments eventually. But think about how much you'd save on gas. Get the details at vibrantcreditunion.org slash pocket money. All one word. Okay. We are back. Episode 24, season two of Teed Up with my good friend, Mr. Tyler Cook. TC, how'd you end up at Iowa, man? From St. Louis, played with Jason Tatum. How'd you end up here? We were recruiting you for forever. Forever. Like, like y'all were. Since you were like 11, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we were recruiting Except Fat TC. I said, I've seen the video. That's not a joke. Y'all like, were recruiting Fat. Your dad was recruiting Fat TC. Your, dad, gotta, your dad had the vision. We got to get the huddle the highlights. Vision. Of, we got to get the huddle highlights of Fat TC. No, your dad was recruiting before I was like, before I could dunk. Okay. Like, consistently. That's love. I was doing two hand, like, backboard slaps, like, shooting 40% on layups. <laughs> It was shit was rough. But below dad, the, below the rim, had division. Be All Zach Randolph bag. Yeah, below like, the rim. Yes, yeah, sir. You're below the rim, big. Oh, for sure. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, no, nah, but uh, your dad was the first like high major like coach to actually like recruit me for real. Mm -hmm. Um, my first offer was Illinois State, um, and then Kansas started recruiting me after I went like to their team camp or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um. But they didn't even like really recruit me, recruit me for real. Like they like showed hard. interest, like yeah, um, like a lot when I was there on that the little team camp, and then like I got like a couple phone calls from them, like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, just kind of out the blue here once in a while. But your dad, like from from the jump, you know what I'm saying? And I, skis, shout out skis. Yeah, yeah, right. exactly. Yeah, Sherm, yeah. Sherman Douglas still at the third. Sherman pulled up he's like he's I skis. seen Sherm like on the regular. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sure. Sherman was family like <laughs> Sherman was in there like the janitor oh in in the building like the janitor every time um, <laughs> no but uh, no yeah that, they was recruiting me since I was 
freshman in high school. Mm-hmm. Um, and so there was just like, it was just like, even though, even when I got hot and I was making like, I had like 30 something offers, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. In my junior year, like the constant was always Iowa, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and like, to be completely transparent, like I was going to go to Florida mm-hmm. because, that, yeah. um, Brad Beal went to Florida out of Chaminade. David Lee went to Florida out of Chaminade. Yeah. And then they go to Chaminade, Florida, all-star. So yeah. I'm like, I'm about to go to Chaminade, Florida, and hopefully I, you all-star. know what I'm saying, get to that that level as well. Um, in my brain, I'm going to Florida. Billy Donovan calls and is like, yo, I'm taking a, the OKC job, right? Mm-hmm. And then a lot of people ain't going to like this either, but I also like the Iowa State. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, Cal, Fred Hoyer. You all got to understand, I'm not from Iowa. So, like, the Iowa, like before I came to Iowa, that Iowa versus Iowa State thing didn't really mean shit to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm yeah, here from St. Louis. Yeah. Like, I don't, I ain't, I've never been to the state of Iowa except for, you know what I'm saying, like my yeah. unofficial visits or whatever. Um, and so, like, that's not, I'm not even thinking about that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just know that I like Fran McCaffrey a lot and I like Fred Hoiberg a lot. It didn't matter where either those two people were at in the country. Like, those yeah. are the guys that I'm rocking with right now. Yeah. Fred Horberg did the same thing. He takes the job with Chicago, I think, um, out of Iowa State. Yeah. So I think then, you played against him one year, though. I'm pretty sure we played Fred one year. I didn't. I didn't play. I didn't play against Fred. Are you sure? My freshman year was yeah. No, I didn't play against Fred Horberg. Oh, okay. okay. Um, no, but then so after he he left, you know, for me it was just like okay, like every time. When I'm in high school, I'm, I'm like praying, I'm like, okay, all right, God, I don't know what I'm going to do, but whatever you want me to do, like, just make it simple. You know what I'm saying? Like, make the decision easy for me. Mm-hmm. Okay, those two coaches that I'm leaving, who else is on the table that I'm actually really rocking with like that? You know okay. what I'm saying? So you're saying Iowa is your third option. I'm going to Iowa. That was, like, your third choice. Looking back on it, bro, I would have been pissed if I went anywhere else. Okay. Okay. Like, I, <laughs> this, was the, this was the best place. To, to answer your question, yeah, it was. Like, at first. At first. Okay. But, like, I thank God every day I didn't go to Florida or Iowa State, yeah. especially Iowa State. Yeah, like I, now I that I, I was here for three years, like yeah, those are some like disgusting people. <laughs> 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 no, it's all love. It's all love. Um, it's no, not no, all dis- love. No, no disrespect. Um, but no, like I, I couldn't even like imagine me being anywhere else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Being here, it was the best situation, the best people. Um, you know what? It obviously helped me kind of get to where I am now. Yeah. Well, like if you didn't like. Like, if you didn't like it, you wouldn't, like, still, like, come back around. Like, you wouldn't come, like, I'm, work I'm, out. I'm like, here. You yeah, know what I'm like saying? Like, town. <laughs> like, it's not like we're doing this on Zoom. And we're not. Like, I'm, I'm, I can't catch a flight for real. Like, I can. But, like, I got to. If I want to fly here from St. Louis, I got to go through Chicago or something. I, like, which is further connect, away. Which is like, further away. So, so I'm driving. Go like, like this. Every time I come here, I'm driving. <laughs> yeah. I'm not getting in the, on the road for three and a half hours if, like, to go into a place that I don't want to be at. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I, like. Still got a lot of love for the, for these people in this place. So, uh, like you said, I'm I'm here. So, yeah. Okay. So, like when you when you first got here, like, I mean, we're good. Like your first year, probably should have made the tournament, but we didn't. Like we were probably one game off yeah, of like yeah, making it. Like sure. one going one way or the other, and then but like from the jump, like you were kind of like always known for like punching on people. Absolutely. Like, what is that? Like, did you all, like, were you just, like, thinking, like, all the time, like, okay, how am I going to catch this bot? Like, how am I going to dunk on this dude's head? So, or, like, <laughs> going back to, like, my freshman year of high school, my coach used to get pissed at me, like, for, and all my my guys that have been playing with me since high school know this, like, if I would miss a layup, like, he would take me out of practice mm-hmm. and, like, go to, like, one of the side hoops, and he'd get these, like, football pads, and it'd be him and, like, another one of our assistant coaches, and they would just maybe, like, keep doing layups and keep trying to dunk it while they're smacking me with these football pads, Mm -hmm. right? They try to, like, he's like, all right, like, go dunk it. Like, stop missing this. You can dunk it while I'm bothering hitting me with the pads, right? Um, Boom, we're playing at this this school called Kirkwood. I'm playing against a school called Kirkwood, um, and that was the first time like I actually caught a body like in the game, and I dunked this dude like crazy off a of pass, yeah. off a little dunk down pass, and like from that day on, like I stopped even like doing layups for real. Like I just started dunking on everybody. <laughs> <'Cause>, like <laughs> I didn't realize like I can do this every time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like essentially, like if I get to this little launch pad right here, like I'm I'm, I'm going over the top. You know what I'm saying? So from that point on, like was that my my sophomore year of high school? I think it was. 
Like, I stopped even, like, doing layups for real. Like, I like the dunks better, though. Like, when you would, like, say, like, like, the ones when you would, like, have, like, a little approach, like, that'd be cool. Like, okay, whatever. But, like, I like the ones better when you would, like, back the dude down and then just, like, have it yeah. left and just, like, <laughs> punch it. Like, like you, didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I like those better. Yeah. Like, I remember the secret scrimmage against Illinois State oh, your first shit. your freshman year. So, it's, like, your first college game action yeah. or whatever. And they had this, like, seven-foot dude. The seven foot African dude, and you just, I feel bad for him to this day because, like, third play of scrimmage, you catch it on post up, you just poof, poof, back him down, and just, poof, just, just like, dug honestly, it right he over. You didn't even know what happened. I don't even know if I remember that. Bro, I promise that happened. It, you did the same. It was like, well, I believe y'all. It was I mean, like I, Nebraska. Kind of, remember Nebraska? Like, at Nebraska. Yeah. Yeah. On Copeland's head. Yep. You just, like, grabbed okay. it. Okay. Like, took two, it was like two, three jumps. Was it on the, the just, basket close to the tunnel? Yes. And then, the yes. one I'm talking about. Oh, are you talking about Nebraska? I'm talking about Nebraska. I'm talking about the No, the scrimmage was the other. Well, it, no, I think you what you it, No, it was on the other basket. Far okay. basket. Yeah, I don't remember it then. I don't know. But, I mean, shit. It's so probably it happened the same. so many times. It's you know probably the same. No, yeah. but. Uh, no, I, I. Those is is easier in the sense that, like, okay, like I, like if I had a ball on a block, I know, like, okay, I got to get, like, one foot in this restricted circle. Right. Right, and if I can get there, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And get my feet underneath me. I'm, I can, I can take off. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. And so those were, those are tough to get in games, just because you can load up in the paint. And there's always like two guys like just like sitting there waiting for me to take a dribble in the paint. Um, but no, like when I can get those, those were those are like the most like satisfying for me though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. those, I felt like I was being like the most disrespectful. In that, no, that in was. That that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And also, uh, the Penn State one was OD too, though. Oh yes, yeah. that was great. The that's Penn the poster State. in the locker room. Yeah, that's no, like I the wall. I didn't know. You I took off. I didn't know like I was, like what was going to happen. You didn't know you were that far away. Nah, I didn't think you were going to get there. Honestly, I didn't either. I didn't think. I thought you because like fall. when you're going through it, like shit goes in slow motion. You know right. what I'm saying? So like, Jordan throws the ball up to me, right? And I had a, I got enough time to take one dribble and make a decision. Isaiah. Is running to the opposite corner, mm-hmm. so I'm like, I could either like either euro step, try to jump over this man, or just skip to Isaiah. Right. And I don't know why I chose the most like dangerous like to jump. Over <laughs> I chose to, to leap over that man, Chef Garner. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I mean, it shit you, worked. You got uh, there. I, it did. You got there. Yeah. And I didn't know <laughs> it went crazy. in because oh, by the time I fell by down. the time I dunked it, like I was like. I was horizontal in the air. You know what I'm saying? So yes. like, by the time I, I dunked it, like I'm damn near already like on the ground. You know what right. I'm saying? So I look up and the ref goes like this. And I was like, oh shit. Like, like, damn. I, just, I was kind of tough. I was tough. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a cool picture. <laughs> it was like, I'm like, thank God like that worked out because that was probably the worst decision I could have made in that, in that scenario. It is what it is. Yeah, shit worked. It is what it yeah. is. All right. Um, we got to get into some stuff about the league. Like, League versus college too. Yeah. Like, good morning, like, brother. Good morning, brother. <laughs> good morning, brother. How you doing? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go we can talk about. Let's that, talk too. about that story. About so that. you're on a ten day with the Nets, and uh, you told the story to us yesterday. And yeah. then so you're on a ten day with the Nets. Obviously, the Nets have an interesting roster, I think, to say the least. Because yeah. you were there when they still had Harden, so they had Harden, Kyrie, and KD. Yeah. So just kind of, uh, I'm not going to steal the story from you, but I think I'll let you take it from here. Yeah. No, nah, yeah. Um, so. This is like my first day on the team, really. You know what I'm saying? I hadn't really met anybody for real. Um, we're on the road. I can't remember where exactly we're playing at. But um, so, like, I'm heading downstairs for our breakfast meeting. And, like, so we obviously have breakfast. We'll watch film. And then we'll go to shoot around after that. Yep. Um, and so I'm going down there early, you know what I'm saying, just to make sure, like, they see I'm, like, in the league, you got to be, like, when you're young, you know what I'm saying, you got to make sure, like, you're first guy there. Last can't be one yeah, yeah, exactly. You can't be so. I always make sure I try to get there early, so I'm just so I know I'm not late. You know right. what I'm saying? So I walk in. Um, there are a couple of the coaches that are down there. Um, obviously, the, the people that I'm making our breakfast are there, and then I'm like, uh, Kyrie sitting there, like on one of the tables. It's like kind of like, like a big room, and like there's probably like 20 tables out here, so it's a massive room. Um, and Kyrie's sitting on one of the tables, but like the way the room's set up, when I'm walking into the room, I don't see him right away. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, so I walk in the room. And I hear good morning, brother. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm literally like, I literally look around, like, yeah. I, like I look up, like I'm like, God, what? I'm like, exactly. I'm like, Lord, like th- that's you. <laughs> so I'm looking around. I look to my left, and it's uh, it's Kyrie. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
and I guess this is the way that he like he was like he greeted me. He was wired that way. Yeah, he's like, "Good morning, brother," and I was like, "What's up?" Oh, this man's energy is like on ten like, <laughs> from the jump. Like just I, I just woke up. <laughs> like I just woke up, brother. Right. Like, only thing I did was brush my teeth and I walked downstairs. <laughs> like that's it. Like eyes crusty and everything. Right. And I was just like, that was like my first introduction to Kyrie. He's like a great dude. You know what I'm saying? Like I obviously was only around him for a week and a half, but that was just like he was an odd like introduction. Yeah. Like he was like he's like people don't understand, like these are re- like these are regular people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it was just like, like that was like the I ain't cool never been greeted dudes. like that. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. but they're like People see these people like on ESPN and they see other people talk about them on TV and stuff like that, but forget like these are just regular people, bro. Right. Like, right. Gotta, everybody's cool. What was your what was your welcome to the NBA moment? Like where you're like Oh, that's a great question. Like you're welcome, like your first uh, thing. Easy. Um my rookie year we're playing at uh Madison Square Garden. Um I'm on the Cavs. Yep. And um I'm not expecting to play, right? I hadn't we're still early in this early in the season, but like I'm like I'm like out of the rotation. Um so we're at Madison Square Garden. I'm sitting on the bench. This is, uh, I want to say it's like the second quarter, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm sitting there, and then um, Coach Beeline was my head coach at the time. Like, he looks down the line. He's like, he's like Tyler, go. I'm like. You're like, go where? What? <laughs> and, like, what you mean? full transparency, like, my, my sneakers ain't even, like, all the way tied up, right? <laughs> Which is like another like lesson like that I, I ended up learning like stay ready so it, you ain't got to get ready, <laughs> bro. It don't matter if you ain't played for ten games yeah. straight. Like yeah. that shit better be tied up. You better be loose. Like yeah. getting up, like running the baseline if you have to, staying ready. Right. Because like that was not the first time. Not that wasn't the only time it happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that happened to me this year. I ended up having to go in and check LeBron in the fourth quarter. I hadn't played all game, <laughs> and you had to go guard. I had Brian. to go in guard Brian. But uh, back to the, the, the welcome <laughs> to the NBA store, which that shit's crazy though. Yeah. Um. So I'm like, oh shit. So I got to get up. I'm taking. I got like 18 layers on. Madison at a square garden. It's cold as hell. Yeah. So I got is. like the jacket on, two warm ups, like another like shirt on top of my jersey. My jersey untucked. I'm trying to tuck in while like like lacing my shoes. I run into the scores table. I get in. I'll turn back to the coach. I'm like, yo, who I got? He's like, you got Julius Randle. <laughs> <laughs> he's loose, like, oh, got a sweat going. Playing. Like, he's like, yeah. he's good. Yeah. Like, from the jump, like, for, like, four straight possessions, he's kicking my ass. Like, yeah. not necessarily scoring on me every time, but, like, just physically, like, yeah. he's, like, he's kicking my ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, that was, and I ended up getting subbed out, like, pretty, not right away, but, like, still pretty quickly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so, I'm walking to the bench. And, like, I didn't even need them to say nothing to me, the coaches. I'm like, okay, I can't let that shit happen again. No more. That was terrible. <laughs> yeah, that I'm was like, that terrible. Was, I was probably, like, four or five down in backs. Yeah. I was not ready for either, like, any yeah. one of those possessions. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And so that was like, okay, like, this shit is not, like, I could get away with that in college. Right. No, sir. Not now. No. Nah. And Julius Randle's a great player, right? Yeah. Julius Randle's not even, like, in that – that that he might not top be, tier, not like tier he's one. Not, he might not be tier two. Exactly, he's close. Bro. So now, like, he's a max. He's a max player. Julius Randle's a really good, regardless of top, whatever. I say top thirty player in the league. Julius Randle's really good. Top thirty player in the league. Yeah, I'd say we can get close. into that. Yeah, <laughs> <it's close. laughs> we, I mean, yeah. yeah. regardless, but he, he's a good player. Regardless, yeah. he's not even in that that top top tier. You know what uh, I'm saying? Yeah. So now it's like, okay, like if that happened against Julius Randle, what happens if that happened against Brian? Okay. Or, okay. Well, yeah. I'm. That's my next question. Yeah. You guarded Giannis last year. Yeah. And statistically, you were saying this last night. You guarded him better than everybody else. So, like, what was like? You're checking Giannis. Like, you're playing the Bucks. It's Cavs. Buck. Or, I'm sorry. Bulls. Bucks. Like, that's a. That's not only a. A playoff. What ended up being a playoff matchup, but yeah. like those are playoff atmosphere type games. When you're even yeah. when you're in the regular season, it's yeah. right across like it's what an hour, 45 minutes. Like, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like an hour on a bus, whatever. Like, yeah, like it's quick, yeah. And you're playing them like a good amount, you're in the same division or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, like, they, you're coming in there, like, oh, yeah, like TC, you got you got Giannis. Like, what was yeah, what that was, was that like? <laughs> so keep in mind, right? So, I, I hurt my ankle in January, I think it was. Mm-hmm. So, I've been out for like essentially a month. Um, yep. and so even in, anybody that's hurt the ankle knows, even when you get cleared. It's still, it's still you still probably only halfway in terms of getting yeah. back to what you were Facts. already on, right? Facts. So I don't remember exactly what day the game was on, but let's just say the game was on a, a Wednesday, right? Yep. 
I got cleared to play basketball on that Monday, on like before two days. I went play like I had like <clears throat> ten minute minute restriction on the, on our G League team the day before, and then I went to Milwaukee and guarded Giannis. Yeah. So we're in shoot around before the game, um, and so at shoot around ends, and then one of our assistant coaches comes to TC. He's like, "Yo," like he comes to me. He's like, "Yo, TC." Um, I know you're probably wondering, like, you know, when, you know what I'm saying, you'll be able to, you know, get back on the court and actually play. Because at first I was like, yo, like, just let me stay down with the G League team so I can get healthy for real, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then, But if y'all need me, then I can be ready to come up and play. But they brought me to Milwaukee. Um, so he's like, but um, we're going to need you to start on Giannis tonight. <laughs> we're going to need that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he's like, we're, we're going to need you to start on Giannis tonight. And so, like, as a competitor, I'm like, hell yeah, like, for, right. like, I wanted – if there was you to ask me what matchup do I want the most, it's that one. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm like, absolutely. The only reservation I had was the fact that I could not jump yet. Yeah. <laughs> you know what Which I'm saying? Which is a problem. Which is an issue. That's a problem. Right? Yeah. When you're guarding somebody like Giannis, you got to be able to move laterally, like be quick you on your feet, all like that. Yeah. do all of that stuff, right? Yeah. My only reservation is that I'm real, I'm on like a leg and a half. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um but no, like by the time the game started, bro, I was so like locked in, like not only just my adrenaline, but like okay, I'm like this is like the the matchup and opportunity that I've been waiting like almost three seasons for. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not, I don't give a damn about my ankle right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like I didn't feel it until the game ended. Yeah, the when the game ended, that shit hurt so bad. But the adrenaline had you though. Yeah, I was good during the game. I was like, I'm like I'm locked in. Like I don't care if yeah. this thing snaps right now. Like I'm. I'm not leaving. I'm not getting out of this game. I'm not going. Of course, thank you know. Thank God, I was good. But, um, but no, I was like, I was like, no, nah, I don't care about. I don't care how bad it hurts. Like I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm sticking this one yeah. out. No, nah, bro. I just remember like you telling me that story. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm sitting there that. after the like, game. Imagine that. I'm sitting there after yeah. the game. My ankle hurts so bad. Yeah, like it's just terrible. Like swollen. Top five like worst pains like I've, I've had like in my career. Right. My foot's in a bucket of ice. It was worth it, though. For sure. Yeah. Like, Duh. Uh, for sure. Yeah. Duh. I'd have did it again the next day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so I'm sitting there. I got my towel on my head. My foot's in the <laughs> in the bath. I'm like, yo, that shit was so fun, but oh, my God, this hurts. And so it's, I'm sitting here, and Damar's to my left. And Damar look at me. He's like, hey, good shit. I was like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, Damar, he's like, hey, good shit. Did y'all win like, that game? No, nah, we lost. It was we like lost. a two possession game, bro. So it, was it was close. close. Yeah, it was close. It was close. I couldn't That's I was really sick about that though, because if we would have won, that'd have been like the perfect. Like, that would have been the. That'd have been yeah. great. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but here, bro, you would have thought you. Man, man, you man, thought you told Demar, I, need, I need a max. So yeah, I, was say, I need a max. Say, yo, right Demar, now. Like, I'm you, not playing until it's a max. <laughs> 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 what you? What you make tomorrow? Like, yeah, yeah. I yeah, need, I need <laughs> what he makes, and then what everybody all combine that shit, and then put it on the paper for you. No, but I was just Demar. I just beat Giannis. He was like, right. Um, Demar looked at me. He was like. He was like, hey, good shit. And I was like, I appreciate it. Right. That's, when, that's when I was like, I'm like, right, uh, like I, I at least, I mean, we lost the game, which is like, end of the day, it's, it's a, you know, wins and losses. It is but it is. Yeah. I was like, I, I did what I was supposed to do. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Right. So, okay. Give me, give me like, last question. Last question. Give me your biggest like difference between the NBA and college and like, and like how like you, you like you might miss college or like you like the NBA better in that regard. Like I like the NBA better for sure. Like it's not close in my opinion. Um, is it, okay, but is that only because of the money? Like because like in college, like no, I'm not even talking about no, the. Like, I mean, NIL, yeah. obviously, like that hurt. Like yeah, no NIL. That was that. that I mean, it didn't. It 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 sucked, but it didn't really because that's how it always was. You know what I'm saying? Right. Until exactly. like what like a year ago, two years ago. Yeah. Um. But like that wasn't even like. When you're in college, you ain't even thinking that you broke for real. Like that's just you know, just like what it is. life. It is you know what, what I'm saying? Is, like right. you know, you got twenty dollars on your card. Like and you got a week until you get paid again. <laughs> somehow you are gonna make that shit work. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> somehow, like, somehow. Um, no, nah, but like the NBA is just a, it's a diff- it's damn near a different sport, bro. Honestly, like yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, whether it's just like the fact that you can't just sit in the lane all day, um, or like the the skill level of the guys in the NBA being like so much higher, um. Just the way that the game is played, from like a, like a schematic standpoint, like X's and O's, and um, like for example, in college, this is like a lot of like you run like a shit ton of plays, or like it's like a motion offense, so you you got people running flex or just like double aways every time. 
whatever. In the NBA, it's like a whole different set of like, um, it's like a whole different type of like like flow or continuity or mm-hmm. like kind of go to sets. Like in NBA, like everybody when you dribble up in like a secondary, everybody's setting the drag screen on a step up. You know what I'm saying? Every time it's or, all automatic. Or like that little automatic, quick action that they the run, like action. the like kind of I don't even know it how to describe still it. Is all the same it's, stuff. It's, the quick it's, action. And so it's just like, like a different. Team. It's, yeah, every team runs the same. It's the same. It's, oh, it's bro. just what you call it. Everybody, everybody runs the same, and it's not a secret. Like, right. um, but it's just like it's a different game, bro. And like, and it takes a while. And I, I literally had coaches like tell me like, forget all the shit you learned in college. Like, you got to throw that shit out the window. Like it's all different. It's now. a different. You got to learn a different way to play play the game of basketball. So, but I, I like it though. Obviously, like the space is is dope. Um, it's challenging, which is fun as a competitor, just because like. You know, obviously, you you got, like, as a defender, you know you got help behind. You would hope you got help behind you. But, like, if you're on an island, you're really on the island. Like, you got to sit down and guard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, which is kind of, like, one of the reasons why, like, I wanted that Giannis matchup because I felt like physically I could I could check him. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, and then, like, it really lets you know, like, if you if you there or not, if you belong, like, yeah, from that standpoint, like, can I actually stay in front of people or on the other side? Can I can I go and score the basketball in the NBA? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, or can I do whatever your job is, your role? Like, I've I've scored 20 points like once in my career in the, in the NBA game. Like, yeah. But they they keep paying me because like, like I have a role yeah, and I do my yeah. job. You know what I'm saying? That to the best of my ability. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it's just a different. It's a, it's a different game, and it's hard for, to explain until no, you kind of go and like. I know what you're saying. Either, and like you guys know basketball. You guys have been around it obviously your whole life. You obviously with your dad being a coach, y'all have been like around the yeah. game, so y'all are actually knowledgeable about what actually goes on. But like a lot of people don't understand. Like, Bro, no what defense of three seconds just changes everything. Changes. It we changes were playing pickup entire, yesterday. Yeah, and I'm making passes. The guys that are cutting in, I'm like, okay, boom, nobody's home. But then like you throw the pass. And somebody was standing somebody right there in the right middle there. of the paint. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, shit, I forgot he could do that. You know what I'm like, saying? Bro, like, Riley switched on to me. So I'm like, everybody get out. Completely. Sabian was right here. Right in the, somebody, I think it was you. We was right in the middle of the lane. Yeah. I'm like, Cause I'm, I'm I doing got nowhere these, to go. I'm, I'm getting catches in the mid post. I'm like, boom, like, okay, I'm by myself. I turn around. He's just standing there just yeah. looking at me. Like, That's and he could do that for the whole. Hey, throw it over here, man. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I'm, it's, it's, it's a different game. But I, I definitely like the NBA better and obviously the money is is fantastic yeah. too. 24 then, second shot clock I think too you said to me in huge the, difference. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Yeah. Huge difference. You said to me in the past though like I think you said to me before like I asked you that question before and you were like the basketball is way better in the NBA but like yeah. in college like you're like with like your team more and yeah, like, so with, in like, college the camaraderie. Like you yeah. said you said to me before like you'll be like bro like I'm I'll really be bored some days like I miss like yeah. being around because like I mean, those like people have families. Like they go exactly. home, like, like you got teammates, to like their kids. <laughs> and I'm like I I, I brought Demar's name up a few times. Um, like but and he's like one of the older guys on the team. Yeah. Um, but I like even like like seventy percent of like your teammates like probably gonna have kids or like right. married. You know what I'm saying? So like, right. and we still do like team activities and stuff like that. Um, it's just different. But a like, bit, right? In college, like. You live with your teammates, first of all. Yeah. Second of all, y'all go, y'all got class together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who else you gonna go eat with? Your yeah. teammates. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In the league, it's like okay, like for example, I was a rookie coming in. I was 21 years old, and like I got, you know, guys that are 36, 37 on my team. Mm-hmm. They don't want to go hang out with a 21 year old kid. <laughs> they got literally have children at home and a wife and like kids. things that they do outside of the they they have normal people. Normal adult lives. Yeah. So nice. like I'm over trying to figure out like who am I about to kick it with? Yeah. Hey, look at me. I'm going home. Like I got kids. I got to get my son from school. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> it's just like it's it's, it's different from that standpoint. But like yeah. that part of it, like I do miss about college. Like I miss like you know like for example like me and like Macy and Cordell living together. I just you know it makes you do like yo we going to get some food and then all of a sudden you know what I'm saying we three deep in the car just right just. You know, messing around in Iowa City. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just kind of kicking and hanging out. So that part of it was dope. Okay. Bet. Well, we don't want to take too much of your time. Thank you um, for yeah, uh, thank you for joining us. I feel like we could have kept going. But yeah, absolutely. Really appreciate you. We got stories you. for hours. No, we got we, we could have covered a whole another, a whole another se- segment. Bro. Yeah. Appreciate you coming on. Yes, I appreciate sir. y'all. Man. Yes, sure. sir. We'll see you. It's dope. We're out. Hey Connor, remember when we went to the Kimball Beecher Family Dentistry? I do. It was a it was a great spot. 
They got us out. They got us in and out quick. Very thorough teeth cleaning, and they told me my teeth were amazing. So they are good at lying as well. well but well, I would hope that well, I would hope not. Well, normally at the dentist, like you don't get in and out very quick, and like they like got us right in, took care of everything. Every the nurses were great. The the dentist was great that we saw. Um, we they have locations, multiple locations, and they they take care of you. So we have to shout out the Kimball Beecher Family Dentistry. Mr. Beecher is the man. He brought us, like, yeah, no, he's he's the GOAT.